Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And I think this is probably going to be the last video of the day. If there's any kind of breaking, I will do a flash video on it. Uh, but it's been a long day. But it's um, it's a good one to finish on because uh, they've announced their, their latest perspective for independence. This is the SMP. Uh, yet another pointless document because they're never going to get independence. But in it, uh, they're talking about the, the changes to the benefit system and the things that they can do that, in their words, would benefit Scots uh, who are already uh, claiming. And it's very important, I think, that they um, they need to address the benefit system, of course, because if ever they did get independence, there'd be a lot more people on benefits because the whole economy, of course, would collapse. And so everybody would be on benefits. Don't know how they're going to pay for them. Uh, but we are going to take a look at this because uh, Shirley Ann Somerville has been opening her big beak and saying how wonderful it will be if you happen to be uh, unemployed, unemployable, on benefits in Scotland that is independent and freed from the shackles and money from Westminster uh, once they've got independence and how much better it would be. Oh dear, I think we can see straight away one of the big problems. Let's have a look. Here goes. So there we go. Uh, we've got Shirley Ann Somerville, a woman who, again, is over-promoted, doing a job she's uh, not qualified for. She doesn't really understand the situation. She doesn't understand anything about economics. And yet she's forced to come out today and push this perspective, saying how great it will be for all those people who don't work. Oh, dear. Because one of the things you need for any economy to work, even if you have one with benefits, is you need a lot of workers. You need a lot of people earning money to pay tax. And an independent Scotland would actually have to hire, and this is the really weird thing, they would actually have to hire a lot more people into public service in order to run the things that are currently run from London. And so who's going to pay for them? Okay, you say, oh, well, look, you know, we're reducing all this unemployment because we're going to hire people from Scotland who are currently unemployed. Oh, that's great. But being paid at public expense and then having a job to pay for is actually more expensive than just having them on the dole. Because on the dole, they're only getting, what, 100 odd pound a week. If you're having to pay them, they're three, 400 pounds a week. And they're not generating any wealth because they're being paid out of the public purse. On top of that, of course, you can't afford to pay the benefits you've got. It's bonkers. So outrageous SNP claim, benefits and pensions after Skexit will transform lives despite delays in using devolved powers. But also, of course, the other thing is they rely heavily on the Barnet formula and all that money from London. How on earth are they going to survive without the UK money? How on earth can they possibly survive on the money generated by the Scottish government? They'll have to put taxes up. And of course, we know exactly what happens then. Everyone with money will go south of the border, down Mexborough Way. They will take their money and run. Companies, of course, that still exist in Scotland itself will just re-register south of the river, south of the river, south of the border, and pay the UK tax, which will be at a lower rate. These people are too stupid, aren't they? They have no idea what they're talking about. Anyway, the Scottish Government Social Justice Secretary, Shirley Ann Somerville, moron, idiot, fool, low IQ, Overpromoted, incapable, stupid, ignorant. There's lots of things you can describe her as, but certainly not effective or knowledgeable. Uh, she claimed that an independent Scotland would be able to tackle poverty even more after Skexit. But this claim was slated by opponents and indeed slated by anyone who can count. The SNP have been accused of trying to distract voters from scandals as they are set to launch their ninth taxpayer funded Skexit prospectus. This time they will focus on social security and pensions, but have been urged to come clean about how this will be paid for. They haven't got a clue. One of the claims they made, and this is a wonderful claim, is they said that anyone currently receiving pension would continue to be paid by the British government. No, that's not how it works. They don't have a pension fund. Pensions are paid by the current taxpayer. Currently, taxpayers are taxed in order to pay current pensions. The British government have no need or obligation to carry on paying Scottish pensions after an independent Scotland. So anyone in Scotland who's a pensioner 
would apply to the Scottish government and have the Scottish taxpayer pay their pension. Can you see a problem with that when 20% of the population of Scotland are pensioners? What do you think is the problem there? 10% about, no, it's about 20%, is it 20% are students full-time education not working because they're young or students and 20% are pensioners. So only 60% of the working age people will be paying all the pensions and all the other benefits. Don't forget that of that 60%, about 20% of them are not working, they're unemployed. And of those that are working, about 10% are working for the state and are not generating tax as such, they're costing. How on earth is Scotland going to pay, never mind all the other benefits, never mind the free education, never mind everything else it needs to pay for, how on earth is it going to afford just the pensions? That's on top of the NHS the free education, all the other things it needs, all the other things it won't be able to afford because it won't have any money. And don't forget, it won't be sitting there going, oh, but all the oil money, num, 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 because they're the ones that want to get rid of the oil industry. Where's all this investment coming for all these green initiatives? Won't be coming from the people of Britain, be coming from the people of Scotland. Good luck. Good luck. I tell you, you're going to need it. Anyway, the Scottish Parliament were given responsibility for the £2.8 billion of social security expenditure following the Scotland Act in 2016 amid claims that it could set up a separate Scottish state in just 18 months. Oh my God, are they off their heads. I don't know what they're smoking, but can I have some? Because it must be good shit. Uh, Audit Scotland have said that the costs of setting up Social Security Scotland are now £685 million, with the complexity of disentangling the benefits bundle and contributing to the delay alongside COVID. Back in February, the UK Department for Work and Pension agreed to keep delivering disability a living allowance to some people of Scotland until 2026. After that, the disability living allowance goes to the Scottish Government. The extension also applied to the attendance allowance, severe dis disablement allowance and payments for industrial injuries. The DWP can also provide personal independence payments and carers to allowance in Scotland until March 2025. After that, you're on your own. You've got to apply to the Scottish Government, which doesn't have the money. They are already telling the councils that they're cutting the benefit system, that they're not giving the councils enough money. They're closing everything down. They, ha they are cutting the expense to everyone. Every single department in Scotland is having its budget cut. How do you think this is going to help people currently receiving benefits when those benefits switch over to Scotland in 2025 or 2026. It's not going to be good, is it? And how do you think it's going to be paid for if Scotland ever got independence? These people are living in an absolute fantasy land, headed by chief fantasist Shirley Ann Somerville, who really, I think, genuinely thinks that she's going to be able to afford this. She will have a problem, of course. She will have a problem with um, ongoing poverty in Scotland, insofar as every single person in Scotland, except for those in government, will be poor. Everyone with money will have gone. Everyone left will be poor. They tried this, like I said, and I've said this before, they tried this in Norway. It took 72 hours and every billionaire in Norway had gone. And the tax take in Norway went through the floor. Does Scotland think it's going to be any different? The only difference here in Scotland is it's much easier. You put your shit in your car and you drive south. You cross that border and you're done. These people live in a world of their own imagination. And it isn't a good one. I'm not even going to go through all this. It's pointless. Firstly, it's pointless because they're never going to get independence. Uh, but secondly, do you really think that that woman is quite capable enough to understand how the hell say maybe two million workers will pay for the entirety of what Scotland needs to do every year. The billions it needs for pensions, the billions it needs for all the disability allowances, for all of this and this and this and this. The billions it needs to run an NHS and all this out of two million workers. It isn't going to happen, is it? It just can't happen. These people live in a fantasy world.
And that's why it's funny. Anyway, well, there's a dog barking in the background. Somebody dare be walking past. How dare they? Uh, anyway, I shall round off there. We'll come up and we'll finish the video. Let's all be thankful independence will never be a thing. Especially if you are, for example, retired or coming up to your retirement. If you are in any way disabled and need assistance. If you are someone who ever needs to go to hospital or has children who go to school or anyone. Because if they get in and do this, it's not only those that need things, that use things, that use services in any way. And I don't just mean those, you know, dire need. I mean, you know, like I say, parents with children at school and things like that. Because everything will burn and collapse and fall apart. The whole economy will be destroyed. Everything will be destroyed. There'll be food riots because you won't have the transport links anymore to even get food into supermarkets. And even if you did, you couldn't afford the food because the entire economy has gone. That's how dangerous and bad these people are. And yet still they think that independence is a good thing and that it will work. Heavens to Betsy. Not a chance. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the end of it for the day. Like I say, last video of the day. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, like I say, there will be some flash videos going up, I'm sure, if any kind of breaking news happens. Uh, but they'll just be sort of headers and then we'll do the full stories on them tomorrow, things like that. Anyway, for the rest of this day, have a good evening. Take care. Goodbye. And I want to thank you all, by the way. Thank you all very much. Um, it's just been an exceptional weekend with views. And I'm getting very close to eight thousand subscribers which i thought i might get by christmas i might even have by the end of tomorrow who knows if you feel like being generous and you haven't yet subscribed go ahead anyway till then take care see you soon and i will speak to you later bye